Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I will talk about the month of March 2022 for the sign of Gemini. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Gemini, then this video is for you. So I'm really excited about this month. It's going to be a month of massive, massive awakening. So we're going to have venus and mars together with pluto so this is like you know you're being triggered on like, aggressiveness on love and everything together but at the same time this is because we are seeing through we're gonna awaken okay so people are going to the first major stage for some of you of awakening okay and we have um we have the sun we have jupiter right we have later on also mercury and we have neptune all in the sign of pisces so this means massive awakening okay super creativity this for you is in your 10th ha 10th house sorry gemini 10th house like incredible this is absolutely incredible you're gonna be so extremely creative um some of you are having a flash of what you want to do in life of your purpose you know start meditating and you will get answers towards work um they're gonna be new work offers so maybe during this new moon you're gonna get a new job offer because the new moon is on the 2nd of march and um wow it's going to be amazing right uh you're going to be quite mm -hmm. nervous if you have an interview uh about you know um do i say everything correct because we have saturn with mercury so conjuncting mercury so it's uh, it makes us think a little bit more about what we want to say right and it's in your ninth house and um, some of you have been studying something new there with saturn and mercury and you're having exams you know if you're still in school you might have exams or you're going to get a certain certificate and with that you're gonna get a new job or like a race so wow i really love this for you it's going to be so you're gonna have like you're gonna some of you i dare to say even get a dream job okay some of you not all of you but if there's a time this is the me the best time if you're in a creative pursuit like some of you are healers there with pisces in the 10th house on the mid heaven uh some of you are artists very creative right you're nurses so any type of healer uh, or you're just super creative in your work and maybe you haven't done something creative and now you're like hey i'm so ready to become this creative personality um and then we have you know venus and mars during this new moon will still be in your eighth house um so you're gonna experience a, a rebirth right you're gonna be inspired you're gonna have a massive rebirth so there might be some kind of loss and a, some kind of um it's like you're losing something and something might come back there's going to be a major cycle there's going to be some things related to money so maybe you have to pay some bills maybe you're getting some money back but with pluto there it is more about something you may have skipped in the past is coming back now so there's a lot of shadow work as well with pluto there in the eighth house so it can it could have to do with like intimacy uh not necessarily in a sexual way but like you know your problems with intimacy or how you can heal that part of yourself um i'm getting here uh, the card family and try so also you you know because we have chiron in the 11th house so i feel that you know search for your tribe the people that are supportive of you mm -hmm. because sometimes you cannot clearly see who's actually uh, right for you and who's not right um you mm -hmm. attract right now a lot of people that need your help with chiron there so they're kind of like wounded and you're gonna be their healer like you know i i can help you i can help you and you know this is why some of you are starting to focus more on work or on like something like your own journey because you're kind of like okay mm, uh yeah or you might 
want to make a trip and this is going to happen more likely during this full moon in virgo okay because the saturn or, we have saturn yeah <laughs> venus and mars in your ninth house um and we have this full moon in virgo in your fourth house okay so um yeah you might planning a trip you might uh, have a little bit of issues between work and home life. So you might want to stay at home, but work is calling you and vice versa. Or you're spending, or you're going to actually go on a trip with your family, okay? But you're going to get some amazing ideas. And I think that a lot of talents, uh, for example, uh, artistic talents or spiritual talents that are in your family line, they're going to come up right you're gonna unlock a part of yourself dreams look at that and i see a tiger in both both of these cards i'm seeing a tiger so um i love these cards they're so beautiful aren't they <laughs> so a tiger to me is um it's like a power animal but it's not rushing right so a tiger is very proud um and exotic so it likes to be in the forest so maybe you should spend some time in the green um, I just get this sense of exploration that you Gemini you're going on on a new exploration of getting to know yourself uh, maybe you're doing that through meditation um, because there is a massive chance of awakening this month, right? So a um, lot of you are going to awaken. So if that happens, I do private readings. I can help you during this time. It's, um, you know, awakening is a big, big thing. <laughs> it can cause a lot of uh, emotions, a lot of changes, right? Loosen your grip. So this is... Um, this month we have a lot of air we have a lot of water and no retrograde so people are gonna feel like they're sliding down and who's gonna catch me and this is where faith is coming in and this is where pisces is telling you like we need you need to unite unite your feelings so to something higher than yourself okay so you're gonna have a good luck with I'm getting lost lands, soul memories and gifts. What did I tell you? You've done this before. You're going to unlock new parts of yourself. This is going to be so beautiful. So amazing. I'm so excited for you. Yeah. Right past wrongs, uprooting. I'm sorry. Okay. So there might be things because one of the major things of... Um, you know of a spiritual awakening is forgiveness so during this uh, full moon in virgo right with the moon they're in the in virgo a lot of you have really critical parents because virgo can be very critical right but virgo is also very uh good-hearted and is a good listener and wants to really serve so if you have these type of parents or you're you know something happened that wasn't really that wasn't really nice like try to forgive because when you forgive you lose a part of this heaviness within yourself so forgiveness is not only for them you can do it subconsciously so you don't actually have to talk to someone but you can forgive by just saying the words okay and meaning it all paths lead to home inner authority intuition turn your gaze within okay so I see that you're going to find you're going into a new pathway uh, and you're going to discover a lot more about the talents that you have. OK, so some of you are experiencing new spiritual gifts and new creativity. You're getting a lot of wisdom and you don't know where it's coming from, you know, and uh, some of you are actually psychics already. So I don't need to tell you that much. You already know. So yeah i hope this message was helpful for you right uh, by the end of the month we have of course we have areas so that's gonna be really fun so april is gonna be more of a fun month we already start to have that by the end of march but you know 
I wanted to keep this message short and give you an overview of what you can expect for the month of March. So if you like this message, subscribe to my channel. You can book a private reading with me if you want to know more um, what everything means to you personally. I'm here to help you through your awakening <laughs> and I wish you all the best. I really appreciate you. Bye bye.